Patrick Brown's resignation over allegations of sexual misconduct has the nation's 50-somethings asking, why should a man running for public office be subject to the court of public opinion? Many of your parents' friends are quick to point out it's completely unfair to force a candidate to resign just because they did something unpopular. If we listen to women, we might miss out on the next Roy Moore, Al Franken, or even Anthony Weiner. <laughs> According to one uncomfortable conversation with your supervisor's squash partner, we shouldn't judge politicians just because they're running for office. Why can't we elect people solely on their policies rather than having to consider the horrible things that they may have done? Unfortunately, the collapse of the PC party has left no viable option for Ontarians who both believe women and hate the poor. <laughs> Of course, after the resignations of Brown and party president Rick Dykstra, the progressive conservatives are pledging to work almost as hard at reforming their party culture as they previously were at covering up their party culture. <laughs> Having ignored the concerning rumors about the man they were trying to make Ontario's premier while being led by an alleged sexual assaulter, party brass say they now realize that's kind of a thing that's a bit frowned upon. According to one, we're ready to believe the women political pressure forces us to believe. From now on, we will only choose candidates and leaders with no skeletons in their closet, like Doug Ford. <laughs> the Beaverton, all new episode Wednesday on Comedy.